In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for ClF4+. So the first thing we need to do is count up the valence electrons. So if we look at the periodic table, we can see this one's organized. It shows you the number of valence electrons for each group. So for chlorine right here, here's chlorine in group 7A, sometimes called 17, seven valence electrons. Fluorine, that's in the same group. It's right above chlorine there. So we have seven valence electrons for each fluorine, but we have four of them. And then this positive sign means we've lost an electron. Electrons are negative, so if you lose a negative charge, you become positive. So we need to remove one electron from here. That'll give us a total of 28 plus 7, that's 35, minus 1, 34 valence electrons for the ClF4 plus Lewis structure. We'll put the chlorine at the center of the Lewis structure. It's less electronegative than the fluorine atom. So let's put our chlorine right here, and then we'll put fluorines around it. Next, we'll put electrons, a pair of them, between atoms, and this will form the chemical bond between those chlorine atoms and the fluorine atoms. Next, we'll complete the octets on these atoms here on the outside of the Lewis structure, these fluorine atoms. At this point, if you count up all these valence electrons, we've only used 32. And remember, we have 34 total valence electrons for the ClF4 plus Lewis structure. So we've got to figure out where to put these extra two valence electrons. We can't put them around the fluorines as they can only have an octet. We can't have an expanded octet with fluorine. We can though, chlorine, it's in period three on the periodic table, we can have an expanded octet, more than eight valence electrons. So let's do that. Let's put those right here in the chlorine next to it. So now the chlorine, it has 10 valence electrons, it's still sharing these two with the fluorine, that's the chemical bond, but it's okay that it has 10, it can have an expanded octet. Note that we should have these brackets around the Lewis structure and then our positive sign to show that this is an ion. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for ClF4+. Thanks for watching.